Hi, my name is Sarah Johnson, though you probably know me better from my online persona, Kiyotaka Lover 46. If the name didn't give it away already, I love Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I love everything about him. His looks, his personality, his face. Oh, I just can't get enough. Of course, I own all of the merchandise you can get of Ishimaru so that I can quite literally live and breathe him. Kiyotaka is the perfect specimen that I am proud to love. But there's just one problem. He wasn't a survivor. While I dislike all of the survivors due to the fact that they aren't on the same superior level as the ultimate moral compass, I understand why they were useful enough to the plot to be survivors. There is one exception, though. Yasuhiro Hagakure. If I could swap any survivor out to let my sweet Taka live instead, I'd get rid of Yasuhiro in a heartbeat. He was completely useless throughout the entire game, and it boils my blood that he was given the place of survivor instead of my beloved Ishimaru. How could this earth be so utterly cruel? I wish someone would give me some good reasons on why Yasuhiro even survived in the first place. Well, Sarah. It just so happens that I can give you some good reasons for why Yasuhiro was given a place as a survivor, even if Kiyotaka seems to be a godlike entity for you. Well, for starters, he offered no help at all in the game. He's completely useless. This is an argument people like to use very frequently, as he isn't especially helpful in Trials. For a game designed around class trials, this might be enough for someone to conclude that they aren't a very helpful character, especially if they can't contribute well to trials, but there is a lot more to Danganronpa than the trials themselves. While you do spend half of the game in a trial setting, you spend the other half in daily school life. This area of the game is where Yasuhiro shines in particular. He quite arguably contributes the most during these sections of the game, or at the very least just as much as the other survivors. Some examples of this are him being the sole person to give comfort to Kiyotaka after the death of Mondo Awada, which led to him seeking help from Alter Ego and getting over it, moving the plot forward. As well as this, he was the only one capable of dismantling the Monokuma, which gave the team vital information about how Monokuma was remote controlled as opposed to being sentient. Had they not figured that out, Junko wouldn't have been discovered and the final trial would never have happened making his efforts absolutely essential and useful for survival. But what about his useless talent? His ultimate ability is worthless! Yasuhiro's ability may seem like a below average talent at a glance, as his talent only allows him to predict the future with a 30% accuracy rate, which doesn't seem particularly impressive. In game, however, this ability is used very frequently. This ability is used in many instances, examples being a simple joke that doesn't affect the story, to much greater predictions that affect the story and plot greatly. A common misconception made by the general audience is that he could use his incorrect predictions to work 70% of the time. However, in his side story, Ultra Despair Hagakure, it's revealed how his clairvoyance works. He sees the true outcome 30% of the time, but when he's incorrect, anything else can happen, meaning using his 70% inaccuracy to prove the future wouldn't work. When they do work, however, the features are extremely detailed and can provide useful information about the future that he may not have even been looking for in the first place. While characters like Celestia Ludenberg and Nagito Kamaida have much higher chances and control over their luck, it is shown that they're only able to use their respective forms of luck for their own intentions, whereas Yasuhiro's predictions can be used to help the rest of the survivors, making him one of the best team players in the entire series. He is able to help his teammates with predictions as opposed to relying on luck used for his own selfish motives. Well, even if it can be used, 30% accuracy is too low to be good. While 30% may seem like a particularly low success rate, it's not actually as low as you might think. Having what is essentially a 1 in 3 chance to predict any outcome is certainly a lot more useful than complete guesswork, and at even lower percentages it still wouldn't be anything to be sniffed at. As well as this, the world of professional clairvoyance doesn't have particularly high success rates, even among the more successful users. A study done in 1994 shows that by testing the accuracy of some of the best self-proclaimed clairvoyants by having them telepathically receive one of four images sent by someone else in another area, they were only able to predict the image with 32% accuracy. 
Despite how low this may seem, this is one of the highest success rates for a clairvoyance test in recorded history, with the previous record being only 25%. In other words, Yasuhiro Hagakure is almost just as good in his ability as the most accurate clairvoyant recorded, making his ability very good. But what about his personality? He's just a dumb comic relief! While to an extent Yasuhiro can be called the comic relief of the group, it's a more useful role than you might expect. The role of comic relief may seem useless compared to other roles, but they play a vital role in keeping the team spirits high, even during the worst of times. A good comparison to show the importance of the comedic relief character role is Sayori in Doki Doki Literature Club, as during even the harshest of times, she is there to keep the team in high spirits and excited for the events to come. When she is removed from the story, however, the mood is darkened to a very dark degree, as there isn't anyone to keep harsh emotions in check, leading to some very awful things said and bad subsequent events. Another example of why the comedic relief character is important is in Avatar The Last Airbender, with Sokka's character. While he is the only member in the group which lacks any form of bending power, he's still an essential member as he provides many other talents, one of which being the comedic relief. When he is removed from the group for a period of time, they have a hard time talking to each other, as Sokka is usually in charge in upholding positive and charming conversation. Just like these examples, Yasuhiro is very important to the surviving team, as he provides the positive and comedic content to the group. Given the theme of hope and despair, this role is more important to be filled than ever. Aoi and Makoto could be funny too though, right? He could be easily replaced! While it's true that the personalities of the other survivors are definitely bright and cheerful, they don't quite suit the role of comic relief, as they suit other important roles much better. Obviously enough, Makoto fills the role of protagonist and leader, as he leads the group of survivors against Junko and Ashima and despair by being a beacon of hope that can't be shattered. Aoi Asahina may seem like a cheerful but simple-minded person at a first glance, but she is much more than that. This is proven multiple times throughout the game, but especially in Chapter 4 after the death of Sakura Ogami. Aoi is a very good representation of resolve and passion, as part of her core traits is caring deeply for the people around her. When she finds out about Sakura's death, she had the resolve to try and take everyone down with her so that they could feel the pain that Sakura felt, but she is able to direct that resolve towards Monokuma after she finds Sakura's real suicide note. After all of that, Yasuhiro is a much better fit for a comedic relief than Aoi, as even during the darkest moments, the existence of Yasuhiro keeps the mood at the very least a little cheerful and bright. Considering everything, it is fair to say that Yasuhiro Hagakure cannot be replaced. All I've ever known my whole life is Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I was convinced that he had to be a survivor no matter what. But you know what? You're right. Yasuhiro Hagakure did deserve to survive. He's just as important as the rest of the survivors. Maybe it's time to change my moral compass. And while I do love Kiyotaka, I will acknowledge that all the characters that survived had their own justified reasons to live. None of them deserve to die in favor of my own personal favorite character. Why, I could even go as far as to say Kiyotaka didn't have to survive. <laughs> That'll teach you to betray the Kiyotaka lover name. It truly is a shame. It'll be hard to find a replacement as enthusiastic as you were, Kiyotaka lover 46. Sad as it is, I must take my leave now. Glory to the great nation of Kiyotaka lovers! Imagine myself on my deathbed, curled up with my Kiyotaka Ishimaru body pillow. But <coughs> this will have to do. Just hold on, Sarah. We'll get you to a hospital. Y you'll recover. It'll all be fine. Fungus. Could you do one last thing for me <coughs> before I drift away? Yes, of course, Sarah. Anything. Please. <coughs> Spread the message of why Yasuhiro was important, and why it was essential for him to survive. Wait, are you sure? Nothing to do with Kiyotaka? 
Oh, damn. That would have been a really good suggestion, actually. Oh, well. I already said it now. I mean, I can still... Nah, that's a lot of work. Well, if you say so. <sighs> I am at peace. <sighs> you may have passed on from this realm, but your message hasn't. Sarah, I'll make sure they all understand. There won't be a single person that won't know. I will make it my personal mission to make sure that they all understand that Yasuhiro Hagakure was important. <laughs>